Hello boys and girls. I will be going ahead and explaining our zoo project for this week. The first slide just has a letter saying that you have been chosen to be a member on my design team to create your own zoo. Directions. You'll be choosing your own animals from the animal chart. And we'll talk about that when that chart is on the slide. You will record your animals on the planning sheet and then you will be using a graph paper that I have provided online or you can draw it out on your own like loose leaf paper. So you have two options, do it online or you can do it on paper. Remember that each square of the graph paper will be 100 square feet. You will name and decorate your own zoo and remember to have fun. These are the requirements. You must have an entrance. You must include six to 10 types of animals. It should have one restroom, one concession snack stand, and then basically you have to meet your animal's needs. So depending on what kind of animal you chose, make sure it has the body of water or trees or grass or a cage, etc. This is the animal chart. So you can only choose the animals from here. And we'll talk about what these numbers are next to each animal. You, this is your zoo planning sheet. And then this is your design. This is the graph paper that I gave and all of this information. And then this is the last slide. So we're going to go ahead and look at how to plan your zoo and create your design. So thank you so much and keep on watching. Hi, boys and girls. So if you are stuck on how to create your zoo layout, then this video is for you. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go over the animal chart and you're going to find whatever animal you want. And remember, you are allowed to have six to 10 types of animals. So I'm just going to find the first one, zebra, and that is 1600 square feet. I go back here. I went ahead and I wrote zebra here. Now I'm going to figure out where I want to place my zebra. So remember, it's 1600 square feet. One of these squares is 100 square feet. So 100, 100, 100, 100, all the way for 1600. So that's about 16 little squares. You're going to go ahead and get a shape. I'm just going to put the zebra right there. And just kind of structure it however I want. And then I'm going to color my zebra green. This is my little green. And you can personalize this to whatever color you want. Go to text box, write zebra. You could write 1600 square feet. So you know that. I could change the font. Just click select all and you may change. If you don't like Arial, you can go to this one. You can bold it. You could change colors, whatever you want. To also make it cool, you can go ahead and insert image over here search the web and i already searched for zebra so you could just type zebra clip art always type on that clip art word and then it's just that image so i'm going to click on this and i'm going to hit insert and it will just display it over here a nice big one Hi. Hi. and then you basically just click and drag right there and that's basically what you're doing. And then you do another one. Go here. And you want to find something cute and small. Like, let's see, something small like the iguana. That's 200 square feet. So you only need one and two. So just the small one. Go to insert, shape. Put the zebra and the iguanas together. It doesn't matter. Do whatever you want. You could change this color. Let's change it to yellow. Okay. And you want to write iguana. I D U A N A. You want to. You can just pull it just like this. There you go. You want to stick a picture, a small, tiny iguana. Feel free. So, big iguana. A little iguana. Let's do this one. Insert, 
and it'll be here. Make it super small. Just stick it right there. And there you go. And you just kind of go about your whole design just like this and have fun. Okay. If you have any other questions, let me know. And then, hold on, one more thing. Sorry. This area and perimeter. So area is length times width. Perimeter is side plus side plus side plus side. So count the square. So if this is 100, 100. This is 200. This is 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 800. So area would be 800 multiplied by 200. Okay? That's how you find the area. So I'm just going to write length times width. And then perimeter is side plus side, plus side, plus side. I'm just going to make that smaller for you guys so you guys can see it all in one thing. Yes, so that is it, guys. Have a fun time making your zoo layout. Thank you so much. And if you have any questions, reach out to me. Bye.